I'm Adil Kumar. We are exploring volume of rectangular prisms. And what we know is that volume of a prism is area of base times height. Based on this, here is a question for you. The question is, a rectangular prism has volume of 100 centimeter cube. Find area of its base if its height is 4 centimeters. Let's begin with the given relation volume of prism is area of the base times height. So sometimes I make a triangle to represent this relation and to remember it. Okay, so the triangle is kind of like this. Volume is area of base times height. Let's say area of base is A and height is H. So from this we can say volume is area times height. So that is how you can read this triangle. Now let's look into the question. What are we given? It says a rectangular prism has volume of 100 centimeter cube. So volume is 100 centimeter cube. Find area. So we don't know what area is. Find area. If its base, area of, find area of its base if its height is 4 centimeters and we are given height is 4 centimeter so we need to find area well volume formula is volume is area times height what is area area from this triangle you can see is volume divided by height volume divided by height that is how you can use this triangle to easily rearrange and find a formula, new formula, right? So area is volume divided by height. Similarly, height could be volume divided by area. Now it is easy, right? So we can calculate what area is. So let's write down area is volume divided by height. Volume is 100 centimeter cube. I could write this as centimeter times centimeter times centimeter. Height is four centimeters. 4 centimeters, right? Do you see that? So I wrote centimeter cube as centimeter times centimeter times centimeter. That is what it means, correct? Now this helps you to get the correct units also. So 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter cancel. When you divide 100 by 4, what do you get? You get a quarter, 25, right? You get 25. Centimeter times centimeter means centimeter square. So that becomes the area for us correct so we get area as 25 centimeters square so now we can write down our answer and that is area of the base is equals to 25 centimeters square do you see that so that is how you can find area of the base now here is another question for you and that's a trick question. Now you know area of the base is 25 centimeters square. The question is find possible dimensions of this rectangular prism. And that is a trick question. Why? Very difficult. Find possible dimensions of this rectangular prism. Now in this rectangular prism, we know the height, but we don't know the base, length and width, right? So, so that is what we have to find. That is what you have to figure out, correct? Base area is 25. So how do you get area of 25? What two numbers should you multiply to get 25? That will give you possible dimensions of the prism. That means we have to find length times width times height. So we need to find length and width. We know what height is. Height is 4 centimeters. Is that okay? So that is the question for you. Let me sketch one, one prism here for you and then it becomes kind of simpler. Uh, okay, so, so let me go like this. That is a base for us. Okay, so, so let me just complete this figure. That's not so neat, but okay, it gives you an idea. So where we're talking about 
let's say this is length this is width and height so when you say dimensions means we have to give length width and height okay so these three dimensions we know height is four centimeters you need to find possible length and width when area of the base is 25 centimeters square i hope that is interesting i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe to my videos and if you like you can put some likes also thank you and all the best